What's going on guys, Casual Savage here and in this video I'm going to be showing you how to create a jitter effect in Premiere Pro. So as you can see we're in Premiere Pro and I have a clip of this wave rolling here. Now what I'm going to be doing is going to the part where I want this jitter to happen. Now mine is as soon as this wave hits the uh, water. So it's right here, all I'm going to do is press C on my keyboard and split it. I'm then going to come across to where I want this to end, which will be right here. And I'm going to come here and split this part here. Now, what you want to do is duplicate that section. We have sectioned out where to create the jitter effect. So all I'm going to do is press Alt on my keyboard and drag this clip up. As you can see, just like that, it has been duplicated. Now we're working with the top clip here. And what we're going to be doing is a bit of keyframing. So select that top clip, come to Effect Controls, and from there you're going to see Position. What you want to do is toggle the animation by selecting this clock. Now from here, the keyframe has been created here. That is because on our timeline or my timeline, I'm here. If this is the case with you, bring this keyframe to the very start. Now what we're going to do is completely optional. What I'm going to be doing is going across two keyframes and then moving the position of the top video. What you can do, depending how fast or slow you want this jitter effect to happen, you can separate the keyframes. Now I would recommend not going any more than six because then it just looks super slow. Especially since the point of you being here is to get a jitter effect. So we're at the start, I'm going to select this button here, which is going to bring us one frame, two frames. I'm then going to select this button here. As you can see, it's now selected our video. And I'm just simply going to slightly move it like this. I'm then going to proceed to do the same thing, come across two frames, and I'm going to go to the bottom right. And this is all it is, two frames. I'll go back to the top left. And you just repeat this same process until you get to the end of your clip. However, when you get to the end, you do need to reset your clip back to normal which I will get into right now as I am just approaching the end. There's enough, so I'm going to do one more jitter, so I'll bring this down. I'm going to come across two frames, and now we need to put it back to normal. So to put it back to normal is really simple. All you need to do, come to the position tab and select reset parameter. Now that last keyframe has been created where it's going to be normal. So now if I play it through, you can see that is what we have. And as soon as that wave is just crashing, and whilst it crashes, it creates that jitter, so just like that. Now if I was to hide the track underneath, you'll notice there'll be black bars, and that is because we moved the video about. Uh, so the way we're going to fix this is really simple. So what we're going to do is select our second clip, and we're going to simply bring up the scale. Now for me, I'm going to bring it to 105 because I really didn't move it too much. Then what I'm going to do to make this look even better, I'm going to come over to the effects tab. I'm going to come to video effects. From video effects, I will be going to transform. From transform, I'm going to select edge feather and you want to drag and drop this onto your top video track. Now currently the amount is set at four. You'll notice the edges here on the top video as I bring this up it will blend in a lot more. So it's completely optional how much you have this. For me, I'm just gonna stay here because I think that blends in really well. And this makes the jitter effect look a lot more cleaner. So playing it through, you can see that is now what we get. Um, here it does become a bit more harsh, so you can choose how thick you want this feather. So again, this is now 62, but if I play this part now, that's how that will look. And again, it's all personal preference. You choose how you want it to look. You play around with these settings. You don't have to copy the exact same settings I use, but you can use that as a reference. But that's how simple it is to create a jitter effect in Premiere Pro. 